240. April 28, 2018. Sent a tweet to a bunch of politicians. This here is Raymond Cho. He's a progressive conservative in Scarborough. He used to sit on the Board of Health in Toronto. He's heard about it for years. Stop teaching chest compressions for breathing emergencies. You're killing everyone. He didn't do anything. And this is Doug Ford here. He's might be the premier of the province in June. He's a nasty man. His brother Rob apparently ex used to party a lot, smoking crack and drinking too much. Well, that's a respiratory emergency. When it came out, there was a rumor of the ex-mayor smoking crack. I went to Toronto Public Health Office, a little chat, and I said, well, I guess this live human study for poisoning, drug overdose, respiratory emergency can't end till somebody kills Rob Ford with chest compressions if he drinks or smokes too much. They started laughing their heads off. Sick puppies, yeah, that's a good idea. Kill them here, kill them here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick puppy. So I went over and had a sit down with Rob Ford. I said, you know, you should stop drinking and smoking too much. There's thousands and thousands of people gonna kill you with chest compressions. His response was, Gary, Toronto Public Health's not in my jurisdiction. I says, oh, do I have to go to Montreal or Windsor, Ontario to save your life? <laughs> Toronto Public Health's not in the mayor's jurisdiction. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> anyway, so this is what the other ones I said this to this tweet. Anyway, John Tory's the only sane politician on him, but at least he said something once. There's Raymond Cho. The by-election, it was last year, Scarborough, and that's where Raymond won the seat. I was at a barbecue with Kathleen Wynne and her candidate, liberal candidate. I get there, I get surrounded by four of her goons. Gary, you can't talk to anybody. I says, why not? It's a free country. Gary, you can't. So, surrounded by these four goods, I talked to them for 15 minutes. We exchanged business cards. I says, look up the information on my Twitter. I phoned them up a couple of days later. Holy shit, Gary, our boss is a mass murderer. I says, you betcha. <laughs> Maybe you should say something, eh? Liberals, conservatives, they're conservatives, dog food, Raymond show. Anyway. And then there's David Zimmer, he's a liberal. Oh, he's a liberal, liberal, liberal. And then it was the cat. Full <laughs> of pushing buttons, I like the push buttons. Anyway, David Zimmer's my member of parliament, he's a liberal. He phoned me up years ago. Gary, stop making people aware of what's going on. He's minister of indigenous affairs. He's a nasty man to her. Indigenous peoples, I'm telling you, he's just bad, 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 more genocide. Anyway, there's the mayor up here January the 9th, 2017. The paramedic service is actually very well prepared. Uh, they all have naloxone. Um, the most important thing when they get on site is actually ventilation as well as oxygen. But I think what we heard loud and Yeah, the press is out on him. What about, there's Joe Cressy, he's a nervous wreck up there because he knows it's murder and doesn't say nothing. There's the chair of the Board of Health. Doctor. Well, we were told today that, for example, because that, that precise example was used as to whether other first responders should have uh, not flown, and, and it was said that that was not the case, that the priority, for example, when the fire department are often the first to arrive should be on ventilation, as Dr. Yaffer just said. But let me just say, Yes, sir, the budget is costly. I told Fortune, no, Joe Cressy there, he's a nervous wreck, man. Uh, I'm the chair of the board, I'm the chair of the drug strategy, and they're killing everybody. <laughs> Too stupid.